Hi, this is Sarah Tomlinson, and today I'm going to show you how I draw the Sri Yantra freehand. This is my daily practice, and I think that it's helping me understand more about the Sri Yantra, the lines, the meaning, the inner energetics of the Yantra itself. So I invite you to join me and get out your pen and paper and make your Sri Yantra. To begin the inner portion of the yantra, draw a circle. Draw a vertical line through the center of your circle. Divide the vertical line in two. The center of the circle, draw a little dot, little circle, denoting the bindu. Divide these two halves into two again, creating four quarters. The bottom two quarters are divided in half again, as is the top quarter. The remaining quarter is slightly over halfway up from the bindu. Note the red line. Now you have all the marks in place to begin your drawing. As you do each triangle, start with the horizontal line, which I'll show you to be the green line. Then, to show you where the point of each triangle is, the tip, I'll put a little red mark so you know where the triangle ends. The first horizontal line is one mark up from the bindu. Draw that horizontal line so it touches the sides of the circle. Connect that line to the bottom point where the vertical line touches the bottom of the circle. You now have your first downward pointing triangle. The second horizontal line is the point just below the bindu. Draw that horizontal line so it touches both sides of the circle. Now connect that line to the top point where the vertical line touches the top of the circle. None of the other triangles touch the circle. You discover how long to do the horizontal lines once you draw the straight line from the point through the intersections, the yellow circles, and as they hit the horizontal line, that is the new end of your line. Hopefully that will become clear as you continue drawing. So now draw the next horizontal line. It's the one just below the large line we just did. As you draw the side line down from the red point, you'll notice it intersects at one place on each side of the triangle. Draw the next horizontal line. Note the red line at the point at the bottom of the triangle and the two yellow circles where the lines will intersect. Now we'll make a new division. Divide the space between the bindu and the first large horizontal line in two. Draw the next horizontal line. It'll be at the top and it'll go down to the point where that red line is. It'll go through two intersections. Draw both sides of the triangle. Now draw the bottom horizontal line. The sides of this triangle will go through two intersecting points and meet at the base of the large downward pointing triangle. Next draw the horizontal line that touches the point of the downward pointing triangle just below the bindu. Draw the sides of the triangle. Next draw the horizontal line that goes through two intersecting points. This horizontal line creates a downward pointing triangle. Draw both sides of the triangle. Inside that triangle is one last downward pointing triangle. Draw the horizontal line that goes between two intersecting points. Then draw the sides of the triangle to meet at the red dot at the base of the large upward pointing triangle. To draw the bindu, make a small circle at the center of the yantra. 
If you were drawing in pencil, you could erase the vertical line now. Look out for part two where we'll do the petals and the gates. Now it's time to practice. Om Sri 